Hi guys, so today I am trading the steering wheel for a pen and notebook and in this video I'm going to explain uh, why your, whenever you double your speed, okay, the braking distance, the stopping distance of your car increases by a factor of 4. This relationship okay, holds true for any car and it holds true regardless of what tires you're using and how much you upgraded your braking system. So let's say if your car uh, requires um, three meters to stop uh, to to stop from thirty kilometers per hour to zero, what it would mean is that when you double your speed to sixty kilometers per hour bringing that your car to a stop you will require 12 meters okay so let's say uh, you operated your braking system right now you only need 2.5 meters to stop from 30 kilometers per hour okay you will still require Right, to stop from 60 kilometers per hour, you will still require four times this distance, which would be 10 meters. Okay, this is this relationship. Okay, how when you double your speed, your stopping distance increases by four. This, uh, this is a mathematically proven relationship. All right, uh, and here I'm going to explain why. So to get the basics out of the way, we need to explain two principles. First is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is defined as the energy contained in an object in motion and scientists have already worked out that to calculate kinetic energy, it is half times the mass of your object times your velocity squared okay so more popularly known uh, to shorthand this is half mv squared okay so remember this relationship now uh, the next uh, concept that we want to talk about is work so uh, in physics all right um, when you have when you you apply a force f to move an object over a distance s okay you your work done in this instance by this force would therefore be force times this distance but this assuming that this force is constant all right so um in the case let's say like if you are breaking your vehicle okay let's consider the special circumstance when you are applying uh your brakes what you have is that you have your braking force okay let's say like this is where your car is traveling your car is traveling in this direction okay your braking force is being applied this way this is your net stopping distance so your work done by your brakes therefore is equals to this f b times s so if you want to, so in an instance where you're bringing your car to a stop right your work done by your brakes is equivalent all right is that you your work done actually has to cancel out the kinetic energy of your car okay so let's say your car at this point is moving at velocity v it is having it is uh in in its inside carrying uh, of your car of mass m your car is having kinetic energy of half m v squared so to bring this car to a full stop you need to your your brakes need to do an equal amount of work to cancel out this kinetic energy so here's your braking force being applied to your car right and this will be your stopping distance as your as your car here comes to zero 
okay comes to a full stop so the formula therefore becomes breaking force times the stopping distance equals to the kinetic energy of your vehicle okay so based on this relationship okay we can see that when you increase your speed by a factor of two the total kinetic energy contained within your vehicle increases by a factor of four and which is that is why your um your braking distance as a result increases by a factor of four okay so um from here we this is just a simple mathematical demonstration to show that uh regardless what car you drive how heavy is the car uh how good are your brakes when if you whenever you double your speed you increase your braking distance by four times that's it end of story all right guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you like my content click on the subscribe button uh press the bell icon to toggle the frequency of updates every time i upload a new video and uh, don't forget also to check out the channels of bobby bing and fadil okay of the horizon team and until my next video, thanks for watching. Bye for now.